This marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'll secure a father's army, no matter what it takes. Very good, my lord. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Let them go hungry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Mister, if they're drunk, they're gonna set sails on fire as well. Ironwood torches. It's a really bad idea. Yes, my mind. lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. What the fuck? last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Ah, uh, again? We always need to plead with Lady Marjorie, don't we? But we're gonna go to King's Landing now. Hello! It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. Oh, snap! That's for the and, purple wedding. Mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. <laughs> I thought I I visit soon. She's like, wait, what? You don't you don't get to say what I do. I had to borrow that from father. Mine was stolen. Can you imagine? Sorry about I that. wonder who it was. <sighs> it's gonna bite me in the ass later. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. Uh, I also... To Sir Maynard. I also ah, understand yes. already. One of my father's favorite we're gonna drinking use it for. companions. We're gonna pretend we send a letter from Lady Marjorie, and then seal it with her... seal. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank Thanks, you. cool boy. My pleasure, Lady Mira. Well, he seems down. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Again, I need your help. Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? Again, yeah, sorry. My mother's... goddamn. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Pay no mind to her. She asks too much. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. Yeah, see? This is where You it is. pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Ah, uh, now this is just, no, don't do it. Oh my god. I mean, I I know how these fucking 
Telltale games work. If I do this now, it will bite me in the ass later. If I get the chance to not do it, I will not do it. Roderick will do it himself. Oh, no, don't do it, girl. Girl, please, Telltale, give me a choice here. Please don't force me to actually do this shit, because I know it will bite me in the ass later. If Lady Marjorie no. wrote a letter... No. And I'll finish. No. Don't do it. I'm sorry, Roderick. No. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're, you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with I've those? I've got them. Yeah, our relationship's not going the right way, huh? I know, back to me. Keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead. What'd you call me? Oh. You might be new here. Wow, you're But tall. you're in my spot. So move. Okay. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? No, I'm not. Don't want to know. The wall was erected over eight thousand years ago to defend the realm from wildlings, white At this girl I used to fuck now and again, face like a queen, tits like a whore. Oh goddamn! Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. Looks fancy. I stuck it in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes? You fuck potatoes. <laughs> I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, Oh my god. Thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi. My sister was on. I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? And something for you, too. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Oh, look at me, sir. I stay quiet. Who was it? Oh, shit. Not me. You're looking at the wrong recruit, sir. So it was someone else, then? Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. Ah, yeah. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive the rest of you Frostfinger there we go I need a word I know so sexy all the all the fangirls oh, scream ah! get started. Well, what's funny is that that actor is absolute shit in all the other movies and stuff that he's Best in except luck. for Tough fucking Game of Thrones he's horrible in Silent Hill and fucking was it Pompeii or whatever Ugh. No! Here we go. Again. Bows up. Again. See those dummies? 
goes a fence. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Gotta be faster. Uh, I horse. I'm gonna pet the horse. <laughs> That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm a horse fucker. The one fucks girls, the other fucks potatoes, and the other fucks horses. I believe there's actually a term for that. It was then one American guy that actually died because oh no, the horse fucked him. I wanna do sword. Okay, let's do this. Let's see how good I am with a sword. Take that! You, grab a practice sword. Can I choose? Oh, that's kind of cool. A black handle. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Okay. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well Hello? Four. Ha ha! Look at me! Get off me, you bloody ox! You got lucky. Oh no, Jon Snow is so sexy. Mmm, those black curls of his. Mmm, them sexy boy. Actually, wait a minute. This is during season four, correct? So he's back here. So we are preparing for the wildlings to attack, correct? Logs. What the fuck? Mr. It's not ironwood. Too hard to burn. Fuck it. I guess we'll do this. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these. We're like. Oh my god! <laughs> Man's ready to shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. I guess I learned from. Squire. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Okay. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Oh my God, we have actually first-person shooters. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target. Head. Good. Right target. Chest. The mouse control in this is horrible. Not bad. Center. Between the eyes. Oh. One less wildling. How was that? You hit all of them. Nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took these. Swiped it right off him. You're no saint yourself. Right. I don't think he'd take it kindly. Okay, I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. I said it's the chest, not the bloody wall. What's with these barrels, shit?
You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? Kinda. See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. So I guess this is, um... Power training. Get them muscles up, boy! Want some help? <laughs> Bitch. Oh, uh, no, don't go near the fire. Oh, this is gonna go bad. Don't trip. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. Not bad. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing isn't frozen off. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Maybe someone stole it. Who the fuck would have... It was you. What? Oh, I didn't mean that. Fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Doesn't have it. Got it! Do something! But stop it! Before someone. I won't say it again. That wasn't very nice. And how about this? Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. I'll oh, snap. Punch him! If I... There we go. Ow! Okay. Get off! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Kara defended it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you. I expected better, Tuttle. Oh, Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, I... Not another word. My bad. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. Ah, nice. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Bye. Get off! Oh! Find your fucking manners. You, come with me. I said someone stole it. I didn't mean to say that he stole it. You know, just you know. This way. <sighs> I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. What did you want to talk about? Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine.
Come on, sit down. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. Naughty little girl, aren't you?